like to present this family life that they live outside of the village. They live off grid, completely off grid. It's like uh, no electricity, no water bill, no any bill at all. And then they have a little bit of income, so that's what they survive. He actually my uncle, my mom or the brother. They have a concrete house, a big concrete house in the village city and uh, they don't want to live there. They decide to come here and then uh, start new life here. And then uh, the, the reason they don't want to stay in the village because uh, they have like a son that alcoholic. So they always fighting or have a problem. So they decide to live outside of village, stay away from him. Uh, and then uh, after first two, three years, he gone. But they decide to stay here forever. So they, they, they start to build a big house here and uh, uh, before they only stay in a hut with uh, only two people like my uncle and my auntie, uh, auntie. And, uh, and now they feel like uh, they save a lot of money you know because they don't have to spend much for electricity for the water bill and uh, not much spend you know no, no expense. So they decide to live here, happy for them. <laughs> You're gonna take you to walk around the place and uh, this one actually the entrance. Uh, the entrance is here and uh, they live in very small area and then they, they build the pond and they have fish, they have vegetable, they grow everything themselves to for, for living, for surviving here. What this story made me think about is building your own house, your own home. Sometimes it's better when it goes slower. We built ours so fast because we could, but the fun part of building is the actual journey, not, not the completion. In some ways, I wish that we ours took a lot longer to build, um, but it didn't. I think we had ours done within six to eight months. These guys have got an ongoing project. As you can see, this is the construction that they are building the new house and where they used to live is the old house here so you have some chicken coops chicken coops very well protected very well done much bigger and better than ours let's take a look inside it's not a uh, chicken for eggs it's like a uh, chicken for meat and then uh, sometimes they can sell sell the chicken like uh, 80 baht per kilo sell to the the market so they grow everything here actually my uncle is you compare in this village he very high educated you know, and uh, he like to he very clever and he like to create thing he like to make thing he like to build thing He's like he not hire anybody at all to do things for, for, for his farm. He just do it himself and try, you know, try again and again. So actually this is him now. He just come back from the rice machine and we're going to be talking about how much it costs for him to do this. We're going to be looking how it all works. And afterwards we're going to go and see his mad invention, uh, how he actually makes money. I don't think you're going to believe the contraption that he's put together. Uh, it's pretty out of this world, to be honest. I don't think you've ever seen anything like it. Oh, no. Oh, this is the first time they stay. It's like this. It's the hut. It's like... Oh. So they, they put the concrete on the floor and then they, he do it himself, the wall and everything. The first time they sleep in here. And this one... This is a cow or a cow? Katom. Katom. Now it's like the place for keep everything, the store. They live in here before, but before they move here is the, the place for chicken. <laughs> you, you can take a look inside. So that they, they put the concrete on. And later year they, they make the concrete, they put the wall, they make the wall. He make it himself.
It's like material for about 10,000 baht, but he, he make it himself. So the water from solar cell, they just install solar cell for three years. Yeah, since COVID. It's about 50,000 baht total. And then uh, they, this the water from pond, the water from the pond, and they keep it here. So they, they use when they clean their uh, wash and then uh, shower from this tank. What about for drinking? Namkin, Namkin, Kin Jack Naja. Kin Jack Naja. It's not expensive for the water. That's so. My young mate said that. Titi Tamna, Titamna Manmutai, get bad sand lounge. Total hoon. Eight hundred K. Eight hundred thousand. เอ็ดฮันเดรดเคบิคอสอิสไลค์กินกี่เริ่มทำตั้งกี่ปีแล้วเนี่ยจ๊ะอันนี้มันมันตั้งใช้ได้ไอ้ที่ตั้งนั้
I think this is quite expensive, what they've spent. And you've got one room here. The reason I think it's expensive is because there's no insulation in, there's no windows in. Um, it's kind of just the bare bones. And to have spent 800,000 already, I think is just quite a lot. And often the ties will build this way because they don't have big lump sums. So they have to pay bit by bit and it ends up costing a little bit more. Of course, you're not getting a deal on your materials because you're not buying in bulk. And then your builders charge by the day. So it ends up costing quite a lot. But then relatively to UK, USA, Australia, it's very, very cheap. It's very cheap. And the finished construction when it's done will be very nice. The views are beautiful of the rice field and because they're completely off grid there is no bills here no electricity bills no water bills this is the solar setup here so it's just three panels which is linking to the water pump and the pump is pumped from a pond from the main pond which is here next to the house so that's obviously filled with rain water and then the solar also gives them electricity and plugs in both houses. In the future, if somebody was to live here, I think you would probably expand the number of solar panels. I think they've got a couple of gel batteries here as well, so you can use the power at night time, but you just add to that. Eventually on the farm, we're gonna to have to do something very similar. So now let's head on over to where my wife's uncle works, his little shop, which separates the husk from the rice and see his marvelous invention that I've certainly never vlogged before. I've never seen in a vlog before. So uh, he's kind of invented it, adapted it, and only he can fix it. So here is a rice machine for the village. Like people in the village, they will bring the rice here, and uh, this uh, this big rice machine is have like uh, for the, more than 20 years already in this village. So uh, people will bring the rice with the skin, you know, like a yellow skin like that, uh, to here, and then he gonna take out and put in there, and then. Uh, I know the rice we go and the, the the skin of the rice we go stay in the back. We go in the back of this uh, uh, of this machine. As you can see, it's quite an elaborate construction. Lots of cogs turning, wheels turning. Only those that built it know how to fix it. The parts are customized, especially for this machine. So the input here where the rice goes and then all of the belts and the wooden constructions which separates the rice from the husk. It's all custom built and only he knows how it actually really works. This is where all of the village, the rice farmers, bring their rice after the harvest and he separates it all out for them from the husk. 
As you can see dotted around his place, he likes to use old objects and recondition them into new purposes. And this family do have a very interesting story. They really did start with nothing and they built up both a work and a home here. I think it's quite an inspirational story. <laughs> Profit uh, from this about 20 baht per bag of the rice. <laughs> if, if, if something broken, have to think that needs money as well. For us, sometime uh, before we used we used this, but it's like uh, broken many times. So that time we just buy our own uh, rice machine. So, but easier. For, for us, yeah, because we live in a big family. So now we just want to ask him about uh, the income that they make and the expense each month what they have to spend for. <laughs> so, so they have the big rice machine that are uh, uh, for the village. So he take care of that and then they, they make the money from there. They sell skin rice and uh, they sell uh, the the soft skin rice for the pig so people who have a pig farm they come to buy from from him oh. That most of most of thing that they buy is the food, like uh, uh, s some some something in the village. Yeah, pak, uh, khao keng, like some little food. Meat, meat, meat. 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 <laughs> Why does he like to make things? He's like he's an engineer. Why does he like to make things and recycle things? เขาถามว่าทําไมชอบประดิษฐ์ประดอยทํานู่นทํานี่เองดูจะเข้ามากับมันดัดแปลงเอาแค่นั้นแหละไม่มีอะไรหรอกเหมือนเหมือนจําค
มองมองอะไรที่เราจุยได้เอ๊ะคนไม่กินเหล้าเขาไม่เห็นตายนี่ผมคิดแบบนี้แหละเออเราลองไม่กินดูนะมันตายไหมเราก็ไม่ตายมันฟื้นดีเออเล่นนี่แหละถึงได้หยุดได้เลิกได้หรือใครก็แล้วแต่เขาไม่กินเหล้าใช่ไหมเขาเขาอะไรเขาอะเรากินเหล้าปั๊บไปนั่งปุ๊บเขาเหม็นใช่ไหมเขาหนีปุ๊บเอ้าไปก็เท่านี้เราเมาแล้วโอ้โหมุบแบบแต่ก่อนใครกินนมกัดเหล้าทีนี้กินนมกัดเหล้าเออก็ดีเหมือนกันเลยเอานมกัดเหล้าไปกินก่อนนี่ไปเรื่อยๆเรื่อยๆแล้วก็หยุดได้เออก็เพราะอะไรเพราะโอกาสเรามีว่ะคนไม่กินเนี่ยเขาเป็นตายใช่ไหมเออแค่นั้นแหละแต่ผมคิดได้แค่นั้นแหละที่แต่หยุดได้มีแค่นั้นเลยขอบคุณมากเลยค่ะโอ้ต้นมะพร้าวนี่นี่นี่อันนี้ทําเองเหรอทําเองเข้าขายในตลาดเลยเนี่ยเข้าขายแต่พบแม่ทำเองนี่สวยเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวมาขอนะเออได้ได้เดี๋ยวหลังเยอะไม่จะขออะไรเยอะได้อยากได้มาเอาแล้วมันไม่ใช่คอมันขโมยแม่ไม่ขโมยแม่ไปไปร้านต้นไม้ยังไม่เยอะขนาดนี้นี่นั่นนี่นั่น generator they buy second hand for twenty thousand baht yeah for for build a house Yeah, for use the power to build a house. So that one is like a vegetable. The plant, the plant something. Mama, do it. Mabo, me a lie bag. Mabo, me a lie bag. So this is also the vegetable garden here. It's got a little garden on the go. Herbs, eggplant, lemongrass. And she's got a lot of plants that she plants and she sells locally too. So this their plant. Orchids. 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 They plant it. They take like a every day, every day they live like a do bit by bit every day, and then some vegetable over there. Yeah, she love flower, so that's why she like a plant everything.